In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create that lower third that you see on the news, that rolling banner of information. We're going to create that and we're going to be using Adobe After Effects to create this. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, the first thing you want to do is just to begin by just creating a box or we can just go ahead and make a solid. So we'll go layer, new, solid, and you can select the color of your choice. So what's the branding of your business going to be? So let's go for maybe like a newsy sort of blue, like a royal blue maybe. We'll press OK. We'll press S on the keyboard. Deselect this. So we're unlinking the height and the width. And we're going to pull the width down to a banner size. So we're about there. Then we're just going to duplicate that. So we'll go Command C, Command V. And then we'll move the top layer up. And we're going to change the color of one of these. So we can go into change color. So we'll change the color of blue solid and we can change the hue. So we can add maybe, maybe a blue and an orange or a blue and a yellow, or we could change the lightness and we can make it more of a blue and a white, whatever you decide to do is completely your cool. But you just want to make sure that these are fairly even and next to each other like this. Now, of course, you can combine these together so we can right click pre-compose with them both selected. And this is now our bar. And from here, you can do some masking if you wanted. So if you wanted to have corners like this, then you just mask around it and you can end it with a corner. Or if you just wanted it on the one side, then you just fill in. Honestly, the options are pretty much limitless at this point. So yeah, you can have a nice corner there so you can have it coming out from the bottom left whatever you decide, but I'm just going to go for this because I'm going to add some rolling text and I think it would look nice with a banner like this. So now we're going to move on to the text. So let's create a headline. We'll make this black. So we want to go into the character window or the text window as it is now called. We'll change the fill to black or a dark gray. I think dark gray looks nicer than black. There we go. And we're just going to go into the paragraph window, which is down here. And we're going to center align this. Press scale on the keyboard and we're just going to scale this down. Cool. There we go. Now we're going to need a little bit more text, I think, to fill this out. So let's go for breaking news. Subscribe to Brooker Films. Woohoo. <laughs> because this is going to be our text. And I'm just going to add a little bit of line of separation here just to add a little bit more style to this. So we'll make this a little bit smaller. Cool. So from here, we want to create a scrolling text. So what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this text. So we'll go Command C, Command V. Then we're just going to press P on the top. We're going to go into this. And at the very end, we're going to go minus 3840. And the reason why we're going minus 3840 is because we're in a 4K composition, which is 3840 by 2160. So 3840 across the horizontal axis. So it's just going to shift that all the way over to the left by 3840 pixels. Great. Now we are just going to create a brand new keyframe on position on both like this. And then we'll go maybe five or six frames or seconds over. So we'll go six seconds over. And we're just going to create a brand new keyframe on the position on both of those again. Now, from here, we're going to go to layer, new, null object. We drag the null object to the top. We'll grab both of those text layers. We'll go parent and link. And we're going to use the pick whip tool to drag that to null three. Or it may be null one in your example. I've been doing some other work, so it's null three in mine. Now, we are just going to scroll to the very beginning. Press P on the keyboard while selecting null. This will load the position. Create a brand new keyframe on position at the beginning. Now we'll go to the six second mark. We'll go into this first option, which is our horizontal position. And we're going to go plus three, eight, four, oh, and press OK. So what that has done, it has essentially just animated this from minus three, eight, four, oh, to plus three, eight, four, oh. Now we're going to grab the null, the text and the text. We're going to right click and we're going to pre-compose this. Now from here, we're just going to load up the keyframe. So we'll press P while selecting the null, which is here. 
Now we're just going to drag the work area tool to there. There you go. And we can right click on this and we can put trim comp to work area. So this has made it six seconds, which is the entire duration of that movement. And now once you've done that, we can go into our main composition. We will right click this short video now. We'll go to time, enable time remapping. And then here we want to hold option on Mac, or I believe it is alt on Windows. Select the stopwatch icon and we are just going to type out loop out. There it is. Select that. And then don't press enter. You're just going to click away. And this is just going to create an infinitely scrolling video for you. So if we change the composition settings and we make this a 60 second video, we can extend this out and this is just going to loop for the full 60. Now I do need to extend the duration of this pre-comp to make that a minute. And we'll extend this out. But there you go, even though we're not animating the text, it is just looping over and over and over again. And that is because of the loop out. Now, if you wanted to speed up the text or slow it down, that is very easy. All you need to do to slow it down is just increase the gap between those keyframes. So as you can see, that's now just doing a very slow scroll through. It's just going to keep going around. But if you make that really short, you are going to have an absolute speedy text, <laughs> which is way too fast. So I think I'm going to keep mine somewhere around close to the original duration. So six or seven seconds, somewhere around there. I think that looks pretty natural. So now that we've done that, we can now move on to the next phase and we can add a headline in on the top line. So we can add some more text. So we can go for the news today and we'll change this to a bold font. We'll go for monster at black. We're going to load up the proportion of grid to help us to frame this. There we go. We can place that there. I'm going to copy and paste that. And then on the top layer, I'm going to make the fill white. And I'm just going to nudge it over just so we get this cool effect. It gives us a nice 3D effect there. You don't have to do that. It's completely up to you. You could essentially just do a drop shadow, but I've decided to do it this way. And then you can also go ahead and make some more changes. So if you wanted to, you could add some information over here. Do what you need to do. So maybe we'll add some more text over here. So we'll go. Let's make this not caps. So we'll turn this off and let's go for with Chris Brooker. We'll turn that off. We'll make this a thinner font. So let's go for medium. We'll decrease the size of this. Here we go. Maybe we could place this over here on the right. Or maybe we could center this all up so the news today goes in the middle. The shadow can go underneath like this. And then maybe my name here can be smaller, more of a gap. That can go in the very center. But I do need to go into my pre-comp and I need to make this a little bit taller. There we go. So let's see how that looks. That works really well, but now the text needs to come down, which is this layer here. There we go. So we've got branding on the top. We've got the banner on the bottom. If you wanted to, you could add more information into this. You could add another bar. You can add more scrolling text. So maybe you could have text scrolling the opposite direction. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just pre-comp everything. So highlight all, right click, pre-compose. And now this is isolated in its own layer. So basically, if I was to jump into Premiere, as you can see, because this is all isolated on its own, I do need to delete the black. So if I jump into Premiere, you can see that this, I dynamic linked a black video over to After Effects to link it into Premiere. And as you can see, you've got this really cool looking news style banner going across the bottom. Now, if you wanted to make this not as tall, that's not a problem at all. If you wanted to add more information in, you can do so. But this is our basic news overlay now created inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. The, I would say the hardest part of this tutorial is the scrolling text. So once you've got the scrolling text, it's literally just a case of using different shapes 
to create your banner and then just adding in text and just making it look really fancy and pretty. So you could add in loads of intricate information, like you could add in trading information or you could add weather information or different names and what's coming up on the show next. There's loads you can add, but this is essentially the fundamentals of how you would get started. It's a very basic news banner, but there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.